So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you could never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Big Daddy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Vicious. Referee Herb Great Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. Good. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the planet. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Good jab. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range and even start. That's right. Welcome, shock him out of the suit here. Big right hand lands. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Fast pace here in the early going. Right on the button. Oh, perfect head kick there. Massive left hand. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. Nice leg kick. Yeah, open up on him now. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. 
They're so evenly matched. They're going to attack. Oh, goes to the switch kick and lands. That was masterfully done. It's such a fast action. You draw a reaction from your opponent, and that's when you find the target. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, so from being dominated to in the dominant position, nice reversal on the ground. Oh, right into mount. Big ground and pound. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Nice guillotine tip here. That guillotine is tight. Good job by the champ there. Sign back up. It, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Nice defense. He got his hands up and he blocked it. Straight right, he misses. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh, huge overhand there. Another punch to the head. Nice leg kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Both guys appeared to land there. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Great setup. That was a nasty high kick. Another massive head kick lands. Straight punch. Useful. What an end to round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Whoa! Oh, misses with the jab. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lands that beautiful jab. Big right 
hook coming. It's blocked. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Beautiful punch lands. He's gonna get himself knocked out. He gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to ride in with every passing shot. And he's fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. That was a nice strike. Oh, great block there. Three minutes to go in round two. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Quick jab lands there. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks tonight in that left thigh now starting to show signs of bruising. Slips that left hand. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end muscle. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Less than two minutes now to go. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Unable to connect with a right hook. Well, that's one way to take advantage of an edge in reach. Beautiful connection with that punch. Oh! Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of... Oh! in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big Daddy. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, 
but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time, and now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, Oh, by the yeah, way. man, this is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt.